Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Paul. I introduce Multimedia as usual, and we're going to be talking with another one of our Ducey Award winners. We're talking talking to Tara Arbor in and talking about her video and her win, and that's coming, it's coming up right after this. Yes. Hey, Tara, how are you? Hi, Paul. Nice to see you. Hi. Um, so, yeah, it's been like forever since I've seen or talked to you guys. It's just, of course, I think that's the case for everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this yeah, so, 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 so talk to me a little bit about, about uh, tell me, for the folks that have met you, you or don't know, about the Arbor Inn, and could you just tell me a little, little bit about what the Arbor Inn is because it's it can be confused with is it a hotel? Is it a what is it? So what? Right. what tell tell us a little bit about the Arbor Inn. Okay, so uh, the Arbor Inn is a family-owned assisted living community, and it oftentimes gets confused with a nursing home experience or an independent community. Part of the things that we do here are assist a senior in activities that they need every day, cooking, housekeeping, uh, dressing assistance, maybe some help in the bathroom, help with their medications. We do not perform any medical um, procedures here. That would be a nursing home. An independent living community is a community where someone can live without help. They're independent 100%. So we're the bridge in between nursing home and an independent community. Cool. cool. So senior home services, Paul. I'm sorry. I talked, I talked over you. Repeat that. That's like a senior hotel with services. That's what we tell them. Like it. I like it. Great. I, I enjoyed seeing you, you in, uh, in action and, uh, um, meeting the residents. I thought it was great. So let's talk about that a little bit about the vi video we, we were able to do for you guys. Guy. Um, and what was the, the video about? What did you want, want to do? What was the story you wanted to, to tell? So we wanted to portray the fact that we take 110% pride in the fact that our community is a family owned and family feel type of a community. Um, again, there's no medical procedures or medical treatment going on. So we wanted people to understand that this is their home. We treat them as our parents, our grandparents, and we want them to feel comfortable and we want them to understand that we're here to help them if they need it. That is the feeling and the, and the message that we wanted to portray with the video. And Throughout the video, you can see we did have family members who, you know, I joke on my my discovery process and our touring, you're my sister from another mister or you're my brother from another mother. That's what it really becomes here for most of us. We really love the fact that these people treat us as if we are their own family. Awesome. Awesome. So yeah, and I had some. Had some from, uh, I had the video playing. We were talking a little bit, as you can see. The that is not yeah. what I was trying to do. So yeah, <laughs> I had it a little bit. But there's a little bit Here of that video. Again. Yeah, yeah. And so you guys, you guys watch the video on our our U channel. Um, it's video right, right. Now. And so I'm gonna take that back that back out. And next question was, um, what what was was how was the process for you when it comes to, to have video produced? Because you'd have a video um, like what, what we do previously. Uh, uh, so talk talk to me a little bit about how, because we, we, we knew each other, each other prior. We worked, worked on a, you we were with, with a different organization. We worked with each other prior. So we knew each other, each other. But talk with me about how this process went uh, for you. Uh, so to so needless to say that um, when I came to the bosses and, and to the teams here and said, we're having a video production <laughs> company come in and we're going to shoot a video, everybody was nervous. Everybody was scared. Um, it was very 
easy to work with you, Paul. We, I, I was not nervous because I had worked with you before. I knew that it was more of an interview, sit face to face kind of conversation and that you would take care of it in editing later. But I think none of them had gone through a process like that before. So it was a little nerve wracking for them. But at the end of the day, I think we all pulled together and, and it was a really great, relaxed, no pressure kind of thing. Um, I think the hardest part for most of us is deciding what we were going to wear, honestly. <laughs> you know, we're women. <laughs> we care what we look like on camera. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys were good, though. I mean, I mean there was the people we had, a, we had a chance to talk to. So now, um, what, what did you, I mean, you talked a little bit about us making it easy, easy for you guys, but what did you like the most about working with us other than the fact that we made it easy? I mean, I mean, what, what was, I mean, cause this is, there's, there's all these step, steps in the process. And so. I think that when we gave you the idea that we wanted it to feel like home, we wanted to portray that thought and that feeling you pulled from those families and those residents that spoke and we're able to capture that in a way that I think many couldn't have gotten. And I, I put that to you because I know where we worked together previously, that you were able to understand me and what I was looking for. So I think you pulled very well from our, our teams and our residents and our family members, what we were looking for. You have a gift for that. It's very easy to talk to you. Good. Well, I mean, and that's and that's the whole thing. There's a, there's a lot of like you know, a lot of a lot of the times aren't aren't used to being in on on video or being being part of a video. Even though we have cam cameras on our phones, we are around media all the time. It's all a whole different situation where you know we bring in the lights, we bring in the cameras, and you know it could be very intimidating. Yeah, Absolutely. it can be. So and I how think some of us were. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you guys pulled it, it off. Pulled it off well. Oh, cool. um, well, going beyond creation of the video, how did how did the video help you uh, do do what you want to do when, when you decide to have one made? So I was looking at it. Of course, part of my title is is marketing, but I, I looked at it as a marketing tool. When in reality. Um, it's a good resource for someone, especially now with COVID. Um, we are not doing in-person tours, which is a process for me um, that starts with, you know, a half an hour conversation in front of my desk, getting to know the family and getting to know what their needs are and what their, their um, maybe their hesitation is to bring mom or dad or grandma here. So that video allows me, at least during this particular time, to convey what I can't in person, which is part of my process. So it's been a good tool for us up on the website and on our channels and on our Facebook to, to help people make that choice when they can't sit in front of us. They can't come in. So we're, we're absolutely thrilled about that. I have a tool, a resource that we had done before COVID hit. We weren't scrambling. We did have something that we could show. Great, great. Now, um, this past year, your video won one of our annual awards. It was voted on. Uh, I'm blanking on the category right now. <laughs> But I think it was inspiration, most inspir either, either most inspirational oh, or most uh, or, or most inspirational. One of those two, two, and so so. Or could it could have even been most entertaining? I don't know why I'm blanking on, on but good award. So, what did you think about winning this, this award? This is this is this is done by popular vote. We are absolutely thrilled and honored to have won um, an award, which. You know, that's really both of ours, you for being able to capture that spirit that we were looking to uh, convey and um, kudos to the whole department uh, in at the Arbor and all the departments that, 
the Arborin, all the families, everybody really pulled together just to, just at the spur of the moment. In some cases, if you remember some of those family testimonials, we pulled them in from walking down the hall to visit. Mm -hmm. We didn't give them any warnings. So we are very honored and thrilled. And again, kudos to both of us. I think that we both conveyed and, and, and got our message across. So we appreciate that. So um, that's, that's awesome. I, it was a real, real pleasure in doing that and being able to tell the, the stories. And it was really cool, cool that folks were, or you said, even though they were pulled in at the last second, they were very willing to, to tell, tell their story. So that just, just, that's a testament about who you guys are and what you, you provide. Um, um, and they're like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get in front of a camera, camera and shout it to the world. I, I think pretty awesome. So, yeah, we were, we were proud as well that, you know, this, this building has been here. It's our 45th year this year and, uh, very proud to have multi-generational families in here as well as those who just have started in our community and, and they just jumped right in. They did not hesitate when I asked them, um, one of them who his mom is still here um he i just i said i need some another body can you do it and he's like absolutely no problem i love my mom in this building she's having a great time and mm -hmm. you're taking so much wonderful care of her is being shown to her and you're taking good care of her so we are very proud of that and and it was a great day to capture that you captured it perfectly it was just very, very fortunate to, to, to everything uh, fallen, fallen place as did. So I know that, you know, with, with this year being a pandemic, pandemic or, um, and there's been a lot, a lot of shifts, a lot of, you know, a lot of changes, a lot of things that you've had to pivot or, or evolve from. So, so what are some of the plans that, that you have going on uh, at the Arbor Arbor to go forward or, or what's happening in your year too? Well, we were told today, um, of course, Governor Whitmer's executive orders have been rescinded um, per the government uh, Supreme Court. We are still bound under CDC and health department guidelines who, um, without getting too political, I was hoping was going to show our seniors some compassion. While I understand they're protecting them, um, we, we were hoping for a little bit more openness in the community as far as visitation with family. As it gets colder, we still are only allowed outside visitation right now. So um, we are on the same mission that we've always been on, and that is to take care of the seniors here. Our number one goal is keeping them safe, keeping our teams safe, and still trying to communicate and uh, reassure our families that their loved one is safe in the building. We have to follow the same protocols that everyone else does. We're all masked. We do have protective gear if we need it. Our nurse Roberta was on the floor for about five or six months in scrubs, which if you know anything about Roberta, uh, we love to wear our clothes and Roberta was in scrubs on the floor in the trenches with everyone else. Um, admissions, because we weren't doing so many, we were in dietary, we were passing food trays, we're cleaning rooms, we're in housekeeping, wherever we needed to go, we went. We kept the residents as safe as we could and we will continue to do so until they open us fully. When they do open us fully, there will still will be restrictions in this building. I don't think our masks are ever going away, um, at least not in senior care for a while. Uh, and we're just trying to keep them safe and happy and healthy. And our dining room is back open for lunches. We're doing it on a trial basis just to get them back out there and socializing and, and eating one meal together. Uh, activities have started to open up a little bit, but we're being very cautious and very thorough and thoughtful as to how we're going to do this. Of course, following the health department guidelines. So no inside visitation today. Mm. Well, hopefully that's able to change soon. I don't know when, I don't know how. I am not in that realm to make those decisions. So, so yeah, I, I feel for you um, and uh, and all the folks that have to uh, um, change their whole policies around, around uh, 
So, uh, uh, with that, that's pretty much it. We really appreciate appreciate your time, Tara. As, 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 before we go, though, though, where can people um, uh, learn more about the Ar Arbor Inn? So they can go to our website, which is uh, thearborin.net. They can call us directly. All of our faces, that's another thing that I really like about this community. We are very transparent as far as who we are, what we do, what we charge, our pricing. All of that is transparent up on our website. So you can see me up there. You can direct link to my email. Uh, our phone numbers, of course, are all over. We are on Facebook, social media. And um, we're very well known in the community. Somebody that you know has had their parent or their grandparent here. So that's generally how you can find us. We're very fi findable, if that's a word. Locatable. <laughs> it, it is a word. And, and if it isn't, well, I'm going to use it to, to confirm me, making, making it a word. That's all good. Well, I really appreciate yeah, your time. And, uh, we appreciate uh, you. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, you take you take it, and I'll talk talk with you soon. You too. Stay safe. All right. Excellent. And See you later, and my that, friend. And that was was too. We really appreciate her, her and go and check out out the video on our YouTube channel as well as ch check out the Rin at like I said said uh, rin.net and don't forget about checking all of us out on our uh, website unadeuce.com as well as our social media sites find us there ask us questions i'll especially ask us questions about the arbor in we're in so until next next time we will see see you uh we will see you soon all right care